Watch out, Batman. This could be tricky. To the Batmobile. Let's go. Atomic batteries to power. Turbines to speed. You're ready to move up. Hi all, welcome to Jungle Model Making. Today we've got, yes, Batmobile Tumblr. Now I'm fully aware this is just a trial version, but I had to get it. Uh, one of the reasons is because of that plaque, and that is going to look good. Part of my knickknacks here, there and everywhere, in my little room. Um, this is going to be a brilliant build, um, as long as it does get released. Um, I've got mine from a place called Kimberley in Nottingham. Um, there's an online news agent that you can find on eBay, and he has all sorts on. Obviously, he, he, you pay more than the one ninety nine because he he posts it to you, so you got to pay for postage. Um, there's nowhere local, obviously, for me, um, but there it is on a big card again. Now. I do know Eagle Moss, um, I've signed up for those which should be released in May, that's the 1966 version, so having two Batmobiles is going to be absolutely immense, and I also need to get a t-shirt as well, because this is no good. Anyway, let's open this up and have a look what's inside, so let's get on with the build. So that's it off the card, let's have a look at the back, there we go, a lot more information on the back. Of what to expect on a quick read of this so we've got the tumbler with its geometric lines and ejector bat pods the tumbler is the most revolutionary batmobile ever representing a new technical high in batman's vehicle history its battle grade body armor is not only bulletproof but strong enough to smash through concrete walls uh, incredible model features movable rear flaps remote controlled rear aero foils High performance racing seats, LED lights. Excellent. Let's see. Turbine engine with sound effects, rear tires with deep tread. Uh, size is approximately 56 by 35 by 19 centimeters. Scale of 1 to 8. Die cast parts with plastic for final details. Um, we have gull wing doors that open up. Oh no, so we got cockpit with control panel, steering console and radar board. Bodywork with stealth design. And don't miss issue two in two weeks time. You get a tire or a wheel, I should say. Um, that looks absolutely brilliant. Build the legendary Batmobile tumbler from the Christopher Nolan Dark Knight movie trilogy with lights, motion and sounds. There we go. Oh, it's fantastic. I love it when they put them on these big cars like this. Makes you feel as though you're getting something for next to nothing. I suppose for one ninety nine you are doing. You get the usual day news agent, please reserve copy. Which is uh, pretty useless at the moment. Uh, we do get two... Is it two brushes? Ah, this is a pull-out. There we are. There's a beautiful pull-out. That looks fantastic as well giving you everything what I've already said but that'll look good um, on a wall somewhere better than normal wallpaper <laughs> excellent let's see subscribe today and receive your free issue plus four fantastic free gifts um, you get a free issue with your first delivery you get a free pin badge with your first delivery free binder with your third delivery free mug with your fifth delivery and a free Batmobile tumbler diecast with your seventh delivery. Excellent. This is going to be phenomenal. This if this comes out. Just hope it does. That is brilliant. Put that to one side. Then we got the magazine. Huh? We got another. There we go. Again, gives you a bit more detail about the free gifts. That looks brilliant. And look at that, technical specs, a cracking page. The length was 4.57 metres, width 2.84 metres, weight 2.3 tonnes. 
an acceleration from 0 to 96 kilometers per hour in 5.6 seconds excellent stuff it's got bits from a stealth bomber the comfort of a lamborghini parts of a hummer and all different things that put together in this marvelous combination ah christopher nolan does it come in black i wonder if anybody will put camouflage on it you never know that'd be great if somebody did let's see the christopher nolan trilogy batman begins i did like christopher bell i thought he did a cracking job and heath ledger obviously the joker was absolutely phenomenal the dark knight and the dark knight rises there you go that's goes on them and who is batman and there we are detective comics number 20 Oh, number 27. I always thought it was number 28. And DC Batman Rebirth. And there we have more about Batman's history. Excellent. Like any self respecting superhero, Batman has his gallery of colourful enemies, most notably the Joker. A fiendish mastermind whose sole purpose is to wreak havoc in Gotham City with a wide sinister smile plastered on his face he's known as the clown prince of crime for good reason and then there are other villains and then on the back we've got the step-by-step -step instructions excellent stuff coming next issue the first front wheel brilliant stuff right let's get the parts out okay yeah we got the parts so oh, nicely packaged brilliantly packaged actually uh we've got a screwdriver and all these bits of detail and it looks like we've got some windows to fit as well and then the plaque so i'll get these out there we go there's the parts oh that's a nice big chunky piece of metal that is heavy some more detail there's another window panel there screwdrivers more windows we'll leave them in there for night uh, let's have a look at that yeah very light but it does look brilliant that that's gonna look fantastic i've got a um statue of ban affleck as batman so that'll look good with him and we got more bits and bobs more detail and another screwdriver they never last long these screwdrivers but use them where i'm out on the way okay no, let's have a look at the um put them back in there let's have a look at the instruction manual okay we got components of issue one we got the front section uh, that's 1A, 1B is a stealth panel, 1C is a left flap, 1D right flap, there's two pistons, windscreen, left window, right window, two cannons, a left fairing, right fairing, curved panel left, curved panel right, plate, CM 2 times 4 mil screw 2 spare, name plate and screwdriver. So these are the cannons and basically these go in there. Like that. I'm just have a look at the shape so you make, make sure it's uh, it's all the same there you go that one's going in better than that one I'm going to turn it there we go yep turn it get the orientation right so that's the cannon firmly insert the base end into the fairing okay I take the two curved panels So these and these and be careful to identify them correctly panel 1L is the one left with a the letter L on it that's the right one that's the left one very difficult to see take the front section 1A 
the left gun one L and one J and the curve panel one L. Okay. So you want that there yeah. goes like that. Now, let's pop that there for a sec. Okay, so let's pop that there. Uh, there is a left and right of these. I can't really tell much difference to be honest. Um, but the uh, it might be just shaping that's different. Um, basically, that goes there like that. There is uh, a large hole and a small hole, so there's a large peg and a shorter peg as well on that fairing. Okay, that's the first piece there, like that. Excellent. And this is the right one. Has a little R on it. And then we just pop that in the same place as the previous one. Okay, so there's the cannons in place. Uh, you do have to glue these in. The plastic was a little bit misshapen. Um, well, there we go. Okay, for this next part we need is in here. We need that part, we don't need them. Um, this basically goes here. There we go, that fits in. That fits there like that. And actually, it reinforces these two pieces at the side. Okay, no, so I will have to screw this in with CM screws and rolling up. Well, then we're going in nicely. There we go. What's that piece in place? Mm. Bit difficult with it being all black. Okay, right. Move them to one side. Now we need bit the right window H. Here it's got two pegs, one, two, and that one will just fit in there, hopefully. There you go. Is that one in? And it wants us to fit the front window. I'm assuming this is the front window. Obviously that is shaped, so it can only go like that. And then we need the right window. Not the correct window, just the right window. Well, it is the correct window if it's the right one as well. As long as it's not the left. Hmm. That one. Yeah. Right. Put them in at an angle. See that one easily comes out, so we'll take that out. There we go. Is that gone in now? That's better with the other one out. Yep, that one goes in. There we go. Pushed in. The pegs. I think that one's a little bit loose compared to that one. Never mind. Pop that there like that. And we've got these. Okay, to secure that windscreen, we use what they call these stealth panels. And we've got two pegs on. And there you just go. Let's see if it's that. That was the problem. Yep, and the glass the wrong way around. Well, it's not glass, it's plastic. There we go. That's how that should be. Like that, and like that. Now, that one is a little loose. I'll pop in and out. I have got some glue that I can use for that on the back. There we go. Micro crystal clear. So, if you're ever going to glue 
what is supposed to be clear plastic never use super glue always use that takes a while to cure um, it's usually cured within an hour depending on the ambient temperature um, and it um, obviously dries clear so you don't see it afterwards whereas super glue um, it doesn't like some plastics and it fogs them up okay now we've got these flaps to fit and um, basically this will go across here uh, two holes here and here and we fit it in that hole as well uh, so it's supposed to go up like that and again we do the same with this one that one there you go now them in it are a tight fit there we go that's them in place now um, brilliant right we need these hydraulic I would imagine this is what they are called Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. let's see now you can position the first piston 1e by inserting the pins in the holes highlighted by the red circles yes okie dokie that can go in there like that and that one can go in there like that and the same with this one Is that something see put that in there There we go. That is what we've got left. Well, that is the completed um, piece. Right, so a bit of gluing and a lot of push fit parts. Um, am I impressed? Yep, I will be. We'll have to see how this one develops. So there we go. That is the trial version completed some of the plastic parts were um, misshapen um, I did manipulate them all out with my uh, with my fingers reshaped them um, I have put super glue on the inside um, I think they call them the furrings um, the cannons went on easy enough um, let's see what else these two were uh, a little difficult getting in place especially because they had the the window pane the wrong way around uh the holes are drilled uh whereas the windows flat holes are drilled down that way in an angle so uh, you have to make sure you get the window the correct way around but um it does say in the instructions anyway i just had it the wrong way around um everything else well seems pretty fine but that'll look good on my shelf for now along with the plaque that looks brill and I think I'll put Van Affleck in there as well he'll look fantastic with it but anyway that is the trial version I'm not sure if I'm going to get two three or four um, in the magazine the show issue two and three no four so we'll just have to wait and see um, issue two will be available probably this coming week actually um, yes it will be um, down in Kimberley in Nottingham anyway if you did like that give us a big thumbs up subscribe hit that notification bell and i'll see you soon for let's see what we've got i've got eddie stober and a ghostbusters issue 33 eddie stober and also i've got iron man four issues of iron man plus the fifth edition of the premium base to complete but anyway brill it's loving it absolutely loving it thanks for watching stay safe and i'll see you soon Bye for now.